Keeping your job site clean is important for a safe work environment. It's obvious Matt is an experienced builder. Remember, it's important to use the right tool for the job. Always be mindful of the area around you. Uh-oh, looks like our builder had a spill. Better clean that up. I should probably clean that up. Spilt gas can be a hazard. Don't use a shop vac, Matt. The gasoline fumes can be very flammable. A safe worker is a happy worker. This is Matt Reisinger. And Tori Belechi. From The Build Show. I now love it when you do that. <laughs> Now, hey, by the way, that uh, safety video, oh my gosh. I showed I off my building skills. I learned, I? yeah, I, I'm afraid people are going to start calling you a hack. <laughs> oh, terrible <laughs> joke, terrible <laughs> joke. Do not shop vac up gas, because what would happen if we shop vac up gas? Now, I've heard this story before, that if you vacuum up gas, that the fumes might hit the spark from the motor and it would explode. Mm -hmm. uh, my All feeling right. is these things are so well insulated, it's not going to happen, but... I I say we see what happens. Okay, so how do we set it up? I'm thinking we got a fish tank. Let's pour some gas in here. Yep. Maybe we duct tape this tube on. And then we put enough gas in so the tube sucks it up. Yep. And, and we, we don't need that much. All we are looking for is to get enough gas inside the vacuum okay. so that we get enough fumes. All right. And I think what we'll do so we're safe, so that we're not turning on the vacuum right next to it. Yep. I'll turn it on here. We have an extension cord back to our blast chamber. Yep. And then we can just plug it into the outlet there. That'll turn on the vacuum and it'll start sucking gas. Yeah, we're 100 yards back or so, so we're pretty safe. I what feel could like. possibly go wrong? What's the worst that could happen? And of course, you put the fish tank out so we can see how much gas. What do you think? Two inches, three inches of gas in the tank? I would say let's just cover the. Yeah. Cover the nozzle first. Cover, cover the nozzle. To make sure that it's really going. Did we check to see that this was unplugged? Uh, yes, we did. I checked it. Are and plus sure? it's unplugged here too, right? It's unplugged yeah, back let me at the I'm barn gonna try too. It. No, don't try it. <laughs> <laughs> don't try it, Tori. Oh, that is a lot of gas, dude. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. That's Maybe what we'll fine. do is uh, orientate it a little it down. bit different. Yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. That's probably better. You need some more duct tape? Let's All right, let's, let's go it behind it. the blast shield. We're about 100 yards down the ranch road here. We put up some half-inch plexiglass uh, up against our steel building. Our little barn dominium over here. You ready, Tori? Got a light? No. All right. No, I do not. Let's not do that. All right, you ready to light this candle? Oh, baby, let's do it. I think it's going to be a, an explosion to rock the neighborhood, dude. All right. Do I get some honors? Honor? Yep. All right. Vacuum's on. OK, vacuum's on. Let the sucking begin. You all ready? I'm, I'm kind of nervous, Tori. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. One, two, three, go. Oh, I see the shop back sucking. Yep. I see hose suction. And the gas is going down. Gas is going down. Guess That's what? Good. No explosion. No explosion. Wah, wah. Let's let it go a second. Maybe yeah. something will happen. No, totally. I mean, I, let's let the gas get in there, let the fumes build up, uh -huh. and you know, maybe it'll hit a spark, and the spark will set it off. I would assume that we've got a bunch of gas coming out the exhaust right now too, right? The, the fish tank is completely empty. It looks drained, yeah. Yeah. Man, I think this one's busted, dude. Okay. Why don't we we'll unplug it, we'll okay. reset. Maybe let's try pouring gas on the motor itself. Because you can see the windings on the motor from the top. Yeah. And maybe that would do it. As if, oh, I spilled a little gas in the motor and then I plugged it in. All right, let's try all right, that. All right, let's try that. All right, well, good news is it did suck up all the gas from the wow, aquarium. Wow, it really did, man. A ton of gas. Yeah. Like every last drop. All right, so we have plenty of gas in here. Yeah, there's like two, three inches in there. It's going to give us lots of gas fumes, so. I can see windings of copper here on that motor, so I'm thinking we pour a little into this spout. Yeah. And turn just... it on, maybe that'll spark it, dude. Absolutely. All right, well, let's remove the tank just so we have less glass to clean up later. You're so optimistic. You really <laughs> think this is going to blow up? I don't know, 
man. If I can see windings in the motor and let's I can move pour the, on it. Let's move it. I don't want to break our aquarium. God, that's a good aquarium, man. If it explodes, man. it's going to ruin everything. I don't want the, I want to be able to get fish later. Okay, you ready? Yeah. How much should I do? I don't know, just, just there you go. Drizzle, yeah. Oh yeah, that's a splash, all right. What not to do with the shop vac. <laughs> don't do Here this. on the build show, don't do this what not home, to kids. do with I'm the shop vac. I'm only doing this because I've got my expert, Tori, with yeah. me. Yeah. All right, let's go back. Whew. All right, Tori. <laughs> Those fumes are getting to me. Man, I'm smelling it, dude. I can tell you what. I'm used to putting that in my gas tank, not in the uh, aquarium. All right, so <laughs> this is gas in the shop vac plus gas poured on the vent and motor. And and you think this is not gonna do it, but I feel positive about this, man. It might catch know. on fire. I don't know, we're about to find out. You ready? Yep. One, two, three, go. Oh, you can see like. Well, it's just sucking up dirt. Yeah, but look at the engine top. Can you see the engine top? There's like a gas plume right there. You're really, really wanting to see an explosion. Oh, man. You're starting to see things. Any second now, any second now, it's going to catch fire <laughs> and then ba boom! You want an explosion so bad that you're making stuff up in I your do. mind. Yes, I do want it. I really want an explosion. All right, so I'm saying that's not an explosion. Darn. All right. I don't think, I'm not sure that this, did this really happen? Did somebody actually pull I mean, up their it, garage with their shot back? It was a story I heard. Uh, maybe we're not using a flammable enough fluid okay. so all right so what do you suggest what Mr. if we go with like carburetor no starter oh yeah like starter fluid the starter fluid yeah. is way more flammable maybe we pour out the gas we just fill up the vacuum with that and see if that blows up okay all right let's do it next up more dangerous than it has to be <laughs> Okay, so I brought a bucket with us. Let's go ahead and reclaim the gasoline here. Sorry to disappoint, but there was no explosion. Man, I really thought I was gonna go. We were like, darn, so hyped. I know, I thought it was gonna happen, brother, but apparently not. Okay, so gas is going in here. I mean, there is gas coming out of the filter. Is it really? Yeah. All right, so it looks like the gas fumes are not enough no. to ignite. No, uh, let's not. go with the starting fluid. Uh, this is way more flammable. Maybe we'll get a spark from the motor. Maybe. And cause this thing to blow up. Way more flammable. Okay. All right. So uh, why don't I do the lid? Yeah. And what are we gonna hook the hose up at? Oh god. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's, let's hook the hose up. How many squirts are you gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna do maybe about three. And this time we're not actually gonna. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the whole key is that we have the right oxygen to fumes ratio. Let's get the gas out of here. Yeah. All right, so the carburetor fluid is in. Here we go. I don't know, man. I, uh, I thought the last one was gonna go. How bad do you want to see an explosion? I really want to see the shop back go. I want this, I want this thing go. All right, I hear the motor running. The vacuum's working, but no explosion. We got no explosion. Wah, wah. Okay, well, the story's it's... looking like it's a bunch of... Malarkey. <laughs> Malarkey. <laughs> Total baloney, dude. This didn't happen to somebody. All right, but what if there was like a, a exposed wire and it started shorting and actually making a spark? I mean, that could be enough to set off starting hmm. fluid. So what do we do? We're to like cut some wires in the motor? Or how are we going to make a make a I got, fake? I got, oh, a, I got an electric match. Movie magic, we'll, yes. we'll, We're going to make our own spark. This is your years of Hollywood <laughs> coming together. I like it. All right, let's go make a fake spark. We'll see you in a second. Tori made a fake short in there with a little Hollywood magic. We don't want to show you too much, but are you ready, brother? Yeah. All we have in there is starting fluid and our homemade spark. Yeah, let's see what happens. Three, two... One. That's it. Oh. It went! It gave <laughs> It went! We did it! Woo! <laughs> did you see that? I mean it didn't blow up, but it, it we got a little <laughs> poof. I don't know, man. That wasn't good enough for you? I think it's malarkey. Alright, well then what could we be vacuuming that would be more explosive? Maybe tannerite, for instance? Or maybe black powder. Oh. What if black you're like powder. what if you're loading bullets and you spilt a bunch of black powder? Yeah, that was lame, dude. Yeah. Let's do black powder. Alright, let's let's ramp this up. Alright, let's ramp this up. <laughs> Next level, people. Let's go. Alright, so our shop vac is filled with a pound of black powder. One pound of black powder. This is a clumsy reloader in their garage. 
And we've determined that the motors on these things are way too insulated. It's not going to spark on its own. That's pretty busted. That's total malarkey. So we but, had to we had to engineer our own spark. I think a pound of black powder in the shop vac with a engineered spark. We got to get an explosion. All right. All right, let's give it a shot. Everybody ready? Everybody prepared? <laughs> Is that it? You happy? Ooh, I'm happy, dude. All right, good. Oh, That's man. all that matters. All <laughs> right, so in the end, told a malarkey that you're going to blow up your shop vac by shop vacuuming up gasoline. However, kids, don't try this at home. No. That's dumb, whether it worked or not on the experiment. Don't be dumb. Same with black powder. Look, you spill black powder after reloading, use a broom, people. You do not need to Better use. Better yet, use a mop. Yeah, I use, use a wet mop, good point. Should not be doing any of this, this was oh dumb. God, no. And we, we had to really fake spark it to get it going. So I mean, maybe if you had a frayed cable or like a 25 year old shop vac with a bunch of sparks blowing out, this could happen, but I think it's pretty much untrue. Untrue. Man. That, that was awesome. Tori, right. nice job, dude. Very, very fun. How funny was that? <laughs> That's good stuff. Did Guys, we got. Did you see the lid? How far the, the lid? The lid just blew yeah. out. That was pretty cool. I, I laughed at like it was one of the, everyone went because it went. <laughs> we're like, ah, oh, that was lit. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> we got more content with Tori from the ranch coming soon, so stay tuned. Follow us on Twitter, and Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on the Bilge. <laughs> it's just it's on the, the Bilge show. It's just, just the, the Bilge show. show. It's just the build show. On the build show. Just See you the, next time on the build show. Just, like that, Tori. Can just, you do that? It's just the build show. The build show. Tori, you know that was fun, but it, you know what would be really fun? What? If we triple size this. Well, we do have three more pounds of black powder. <laughs> How about we use three pounds? We had an incredibly lazy, sloppy reloader. Yeah, we had a lot of black a, powder. This guy is a mess. He's a total mess. He just like spilt all his powder on the ground. I, you know, I say if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. Totally. I mean, this is totally what you did on the show that all of the guys watching this loved watching for years. Three pounds of black powder in the bottom of a shop vac. And a Super home, messy. And, a, and an engineered spark. And an engineered spark. Let's see what happens. Luckily, technology has gotten to the point where these vacuums are safe. <laughs> That's but right. They don't spark and cause explosions. And normally, this does not happen. In three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> Look out! Woo! Dang! <laughs> that thing went up about a hundred feet in the air. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Behind an inch of flexi. Try not Otherwise, to be a slob. That. <laughs> <laughs> that was really fun. <laughs> See y'all. Have a great day. Oh my gosh. <laughs>